the 843 rule of compounding the most effective way to compound your income and become rich hey guys it's Rahim welcome back to my channel if you're new here smash the subscribe button because I talk about property investment personal development and how to gain financial freedom for those who don't know me I start my property investment journey just over eight years ago working as an accountant working seriously long hours in a job where I was undervalued underappreciated going nowhere I took a leap of faith and started my property investment journey with little money to build in a massive portfolio of of rent to rent property deals so basically what I was doing I was renting properties from landlords I subsequently rent these properties on a room by room basis and some of those properties I also used as service accommodation where I was renting it per night so I used the money I was making from those properties to start building my own property investment portfolio I become the first person in my group to become a property millionaire I now help professionals use property investment as a vehicle to make manage and multiply income in order to make money work for them instead of them working for it so what I'm about to share with you would transform the way you think about money the way you think about investment and the way you can make your money work a lot lot harder for you and when it comes to retirement you don't have to ever worry about money so I've earned my space in the investment world to share the 843 compounding rules let's get to it before we get I'd like to thank everybody who joined the channel the channel is growing absolutely immensely thank you thank you thank you I could not thank you enough because literally it's blowing my mind now I've never thought the channel would have been where it is now because I purely started it, reluctantly started the channel. It's going immensely. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate it so much. We've done a research that we realized 65% of the people that are watching my channel have not hit that subscribe button. The views are going immensely, subscription is going, but we're lacking a little bit on the subscription side of things. So if you're one of those, smash the subscribe button now to join the family. So I hope you've done that. Do it now, do it now, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate that. So I've got a promise to make. Well, now you're part of the family. I promise to bring you valuable, actionable content and interview entrepreneurs, influencers, business people, property investors, so we can learn from them and hopefully inspire you to take your finances into your own hands instead of relying on your employers or the government. Have you ever wondered how to make your money grow faster and work harder for you? Well, in today's video, I am diving into the eight for three rule of compounding this is the most effective way so to supercharge your investment and become rich i'm going to take you through what the 843 rule is the definition of it and then once we've done the, de the definition i'll be walking through step by step and how to implement the 843 rule to supercharge your property investment so i advise you to stay until the end in order for you to know how to implement the 843 rule let's get to it so what is the 843 rule it is a very simple yet powerful rule strategy to maximize the benefit of compound interest investment and personal growth making it easier for you to build wealth over time so the eight means basically is to save eight percent of your earned income so what do i mean by that i'm talking about the net income your salary that you get paid into your account whether it's a cash payment or bank transfer, whatever that amount is for you, literally, they're asking you to only save 8% of it. For me, personally, I went out and beyond that. When I started, literally, I was saving 10 to 15, 20% of my annual savings. So I'm only following to this rule because not everybody may be able to save 10, 15 or 20%. So I want to introduce this rule, at least then you've got 8% saved. So the first eight is saving 8% of your income. And then number four is the return is the 4% return is to ensure you make 4% in any investment you make. So what do I mean by 4%? The 4% I'm talking about here is the net return on your investment, taking expenses out, taking inflation out and any charges that the people you're working with or the professional you're working with charges you to allow you to make that 4%. And I'm talking about 4% annually as, as well. So this help ensure your funds are working a lot harder for you. The third rule, which is eight four, we've done eight, we've done four, we're talking about three, is to invest three decades. 
Investing consistently for 30 years would help you make serious return on your investment. And here's the thing, we're not talking about basic investment here. We're not talking about massive investment, we're talking about little tiny money that you can put in that will give you better return in about 30 years time. And here's the thing, compounding works best over a long period of time, allowing your money to grow exponentially. So now let's break this down in pieces. Let's look at step one, saving 8% of your income. Let's take an example. Suppose you are earning £3,000 per calendar month. This is your take-home salary. And if you save 8% of that income, that would be £240 every single month. So what they're asking you today basically is to take that £240 every single month, put it in another account. It could be an ISA account, it could be an account that you don't wanna to touch. Just put that money somewhere for now, okay? Just put it, just keep storing it every single month you store that money in there okay or perhaps you want to find an alternative investment that you can put that money in at that time so basically that's what they're trying to say there save eight percent of your income suppose then you've set that target knowing that now you can save eight percent of your income the second rule comes to effect which is to look for four percent annual return in anywhere you put your 240 pounds and what I'm talking about here is 4% after inflation, administration charges, and any other charges from the investment you're making. So you may be thinking, what sort of investment would you be looking into to make at least 4% net return on your investment? You could look at um, uh, investment vehicles like the index funds, for example. If you put your money in your index fund, in average, average return on the in indices, index funds about 4 to 6% a year. You have some bonds that you could invest in, you have businesses you could invest in, and perhaps you wanna invest in properties. So these sort of investment vehicle would allow you to make at least minimum of 4% net return on your investment. Let's now look at step three. Step three is investing at least three decades. I'm talking about 30 years of investment. It is very important for you to invest consistently every single month in the next 30 years to enable you to get better and serious return on your investment. I'll give an example. Suppose you're investing £240 every single month with 4% annual return. After 30 years, you would have accumulated £171,000. Hello? This is just you putting in £240 every single month, not doing anything else, no, no any other form of investment. All you do is just to put that money in. That would have generated you £171,000. You may be thinking, how do I work that out? Let's do it. So let's break that down. Suppose then you've got that money, you've got the £240 to save to, to invest every single month. So if you do 240000 times 12 months, right, and you times that by 30 years, that then gives you £86,400 with 4% with return on your investment every single year, that then gives you the £171,000 that then demonstrate the power of compound interest. Looking at that, your £84,000 nearly doubled. Literally, the £84,000 you would have put in would have doubled and would have given you serious re return on your investment. Some of you may be thinking, oh, this is not as much as you would have thought. I hear you, I get you. Imagine now if you were not saving £240. Suppose you were saving, let's say, um, uh, 500 pounds you would have you're talking about maybe four to five hundred thousand pounds by the time you retire and at the retirement age if you've worked nicely and you've got your investments correct you, you you've got your pensions and all those stuff correct that is an additional income to you that would enable you not to worry about money imagine doing that imagine maybe doing a thousand pounds a month or maybe two thousand pounds a month the bigger the figures the better return on your investment so basically it gives you better return the more money you put in some people put in additional amount all the time this month to 240 the other month 260 270 280 290 so the more you put in the more you get out of your um, investment that's where compounding comes in here's the thing to um, uh, remember is consistency and not pulling your money out let me now give you an example suppose then basically um, you went out there you said oh you know what I don't want I, I don't want four percent I want to get more return on my investment I want to make my money work a lot, lot harder let's say you got six percent return on your investment okay with six percent return on investment instead of four percent investing 240 pounds every single month you're talking about 237 thousand pounds in the next 
30 years. So now you can say the bigger the investment, the bigger the return, the more money you make. This is what successful people are very good at. This is what millionaires and decamillionaires are very good at. Looking at where their money works a lot, lot harder for them and then put that money in and then wait for the return on their investment. So here's the thing, it's vitally important for you to start early. You see, when you start early, suppose you start at the age 25, by the time you are 55 years old, you would have had significant nest, nest egg compared to when you start at age 35 years old. So it's very important for you to start early because the earlier you start, the better return you get. And when you're younger, you have less responsibilities as well. You have less things to uh, spend your money on. So hopefully then, you will be funneling that money into investment like this that will give you serious return in your investment. And avoid common pitfalls. What do I mean by common pitfall? By getting tempted to withdraw some of your investment early because maybe you've seen a deal that is too good to be true. So leave that as a vehicle, leave that as a vehicle that will be generating new income, compounding there. If you have any other money somewhere else, use that money for any other investment because it will just keep blowing that balloon, getting it bigger and bigger and bigger and then it becomes a gigantic um, snowball. And the other way to actually ensure you've got that 4% at least or 6% um, return in your investment is using tax efficient account like putting that money in a stock or ISAs, investing in properties for example or, 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 or investing in different different vehicles without pulling the money out that then allows you to pay less a tax because you have not realized the gain you keep investing in those sort of vehicles to minimize your tax burden whilst you increase your future earnings. So to summarize the 843 rule and its impact on long-term wealth building is being consistent, being perseverance, being able to, to continuously watching the way or observing or analyzing the way your money working for you in, in order to make serious return on your investment. By understanding and applying the 843 rule of compounding, you can set yourself on the path to financial success and wealth accumulation. So I hope this video has shined a light and you can go and implement this 834 rule to better enhance your finances and to become financially free. I really hope this session has been helpful. If this session has been helpful, smash the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. I look forward to sharing the next one. Thank you.